a little less than a year ago I took a pause from YouTube and I literally had such problems with my mental health at the time I relapsed on every single habit that I did I literally stopped going to the gym stopped recording stopped everything went back to all my bad habits and because of one simple plain mistake and I want to share this mistake with you because honestly this could save you months months of your life months of your improvement like literally for me these five months of being in that rut not you know improving myself I don't know where I could have been at this point if I had continued for these like five months but the point of this video is for me to explain to you just how many people out there and I've seen the advice that they give you is not just problematic but I think like very bad I'm telling this from my personal experience not trying to hate on any like a self-improvement youtuber or whatever you gonna call that niche nowadays because I don't think I fit in that niche of these self-improvement youtubers as most of them are either exposed by now or they're sold out in my opinion I don't want to you know be with these people who are not just trying to but they give harmful advice they're trying to make money of uh, you know young people who have problems just like I had I'm not saying that the advice some of the advice they gave me was helpful I think some of it was very damaging I'm gonna try and make sure right now you and me are gonna try to make sure that people avoid this mistake and I want you to share this video with other people you don't even have to share it just because you know if you feel like I'm doing this for views just tell the advice to other people you know or to people that are dear to you so what I did the mistake that I made that was like big is I was watching like these self from YouTubers and all of them were like saying that you have to go on this uh, on this monk mode protocol for like a few months and basically it was like where you stop uh, doing these bad habits that you used to have and you like focus on like work all these things and a lot of these like monk mode uh, and a lot of these like monk mode gurus that were talking about monk mode they were also saying like with hanging out with friends with uh, you know going to parties and doing this doing the the bad habits they basically put like socializing with people as a bad habit and they basically classified every single friend that you have like who is not on self-improvement who is not like trying to improve himself every day as a bad person even though it doesn't necessarily have to be true you can look at some of my friends who have left during this period of time like 10 months ago i look at these people now and i realize just like those people were very good people very good friends like would help you you know talk with you if you had to talk to them like these were good people so what if he didn't go to the gym what you know what what the bad point about every single one of these people why do you have to generalize these people as bad or not doing certain habits if you know there's still people at heart they're good people who you know generally care about you because i think it's very bad advice that these like people on the internet gave you me and other people who are like who had the situations like you and me because the thing is most of the young people who watch these guys on the internet they don't really think for themselves like i've seen it people who made videos about joining their courses coaching programs they talked about how like these people have a very little critical thinking like they don't think for themselves they just listen to everything that the guru or the youtuber has to say to them and they just take the advice like at plain sight they just don't think about it at all in a few of my other videos i gave like advice that was basically regurgitated from these self-improvement gurus and you can go spot that in my older videos the way i spoke the way i carried myself in those videos was very much like these people i looked up to because i thought that these people you know knew everything about life but when you realize when you think like when you use your critical thinking and i want you to do this with every single thing i say even with this video with every single video that you watch from me from someone else i don't care Whoever tells you advice, if it's your mom, if it's your dad, if it's your brother, if it's me, some millionaire who's telling you about any business, I want you to think about what he has told you. Think about that for like five, ten minutes. It doesn't have to be long. Just use your brain for a little bit. Just use your brain for a little bit to think about this advice. Think about, you know, how is this helping me? How does this really work? Am I, you know, understanding everything that he said perfectly and clearly? And, uh, just think about the advice for a little bit you know have some thoughts in your head like okay he said this but why should i listen to it you have to think for yourself funnily enough these self-improvement like youtubers talk about all this uh stuff about you know 
the matrix and you know whatever they call it the, the puppet masters that they're trying to make you stop thinking for yourself and that you just uh, take everything in that they tell you to do even though these self-improvement gurus are the same as like the puppet masters right or the matrix whatever you want to call it because they both feed you stuff that's not really helpful for you think about the school system for example in school you have like some subject that may be good for you and some subject that like you don't care about right but you, have, you still have to do these subjects in school for me i think for me like in school i hated certain subjects like i hated art as a subject and it just wasn't applicable to me but i liked subjects like history i liked uh, biology these certain subjects i liked so i liked certain subjects they were good for me right they were, they were like uh, applicable to me rel relatable to me but then there were certain subjects like art that i didn't really care about self-improvement gurus the same thing is with them certain advice maybe like certain things i took over from them that i have to say it's good advice cold showers mindfulness meditation gratitude journaling uh, working early in the morning you know going to sleep routines stuff like that and there are certain things that are simply not applicable to me and to a lot of people out there and you have to realize what are the things the advice that i'm giving you the advice that they're giving you it doesn't matter who it could be me it could be Andrew Tate, Hamza, Imangaji, whoever, whoever you look up to. Whatever advice that I give you or they give you, you have to look, okay, is this applicable to me? No, it's not. Okay, is this applicable to me? No, it's not. Okay, but this could work for me. So you take that and you apply it, right? You have to think about everything critically. Use your brain and say, okay, is this good for me? Maybe I can try it. Okay, it doesn't really work for me. Okay, next. But you have to understand that every single habit, is different for every single person. It's never the same, right? For me, my morning routine is good for me, right? Maybe I, you know, still have more to improve on it. But for you, my morning routine could be terrible. It could like have you such like unproductive mornings. You could have like a bad day after it. But for most people, it's different, which is why you have to try it. You have to look into it. You know, do some research. Think about like, would that be applicable to me? Could I do that? Maybe no. Maybe yes. If yes, then that could be good. If no, then that might be bad. It might be good. You don't really understand and you don't really know if something is good for you or bad for you until you think about it. You, you know, you try it, you research and it could end up being good. It could end up being bad. And I think that for certain people and for me, even I experimented with like trying to take a habit that someone told me. So, for example, in my video, one of my videos, I said, uh, to do uh, the one percent method if not watch that video i think that's a good video i'm gonna put it up right here so you can go watch it the one percent method is basically where you write down certain tasks for every habit that you have to do so if i'm trying to prove my videos i'm gonna set up as a task like try a different lighting for example in my last few videos i'm using like more lights like there's literally four four lights around me to make the lighting of the videos better trying to improve something about the videos so i have my daily task so improve lighting in the video okay so perhaps the next day i'm gonna try to do like better body language or or better uh, storytelling trying to improve one percent so a little improvement every single day that will amount to big stuff so for example i tell you that uh, one percent method which i think works for me very well for you the one percent method might be like not really useful and then what you can do is not just completely like lay off the one percent method say it doesn't work but you can try this. You can try and make the 1% method your own thing by spinning it and trying to tailor it to your own personality, to your own goal. Because the thing is, for me, reading one hour a day was very difficult. Until I literally spun it around and made it into like something that, that's about my personality. I started reading in places that I found for me enjoyable or peaceful. Because some people, you know, read in their bedroom and I tried reading in my bedroom. I tried the... Uh, no, okay, I'll read for 30 minutes and then pause and then 30 minutes again. Didn't really work. So how I tailored it to myself is I started to read it in areas that I enjoyed or that I enjoyed peace in that I could normally as well, not just with reading, but normally that I would take time to relax and you know find some peace in. I changed the habit around. I didn't follow the exact parameters that the guru or the YouTuber told me to. I just spun it around so that I could apply it to myself and do it, you know, how I wanted to do it. For you, it could be, if I say 1% method, you can say, okay, 
instead of trying to improve every single day because you know that's a lot of that's too much for me right you can't do you can't think of like a task or you do every single day okay that's fine you can maybe do it like a week every week try to improve every month try to improve so you can try to make every single piece of advice that you hear online that someone tells you your very own and try to tailor it how you can apply it to yourself if you made it this far in the video i think that's a sign that like you like me and that you like the content that i'm making the advice that i'm giving you you should subscribe it's completely for free and it pushes my channel to other young men you know who want to do this you know share this video with someone else like comment something if you have a question you can ask me in the comments so i hope i see you again man and uh peace i'll see you tomorrow